Okay, this is the second part of printmaking two. Uh, if you remember um, part one, we had done a print. I used a sponge brush and put on um, black ink along with it with a sponge. Then we folded it in half because my paper had spots on it and we pressed down. It was stuck down, you know. Now when we opened it up, I decided that it really wasn't much of a design, but I thought I could enhance it with markers. So this is the second part of printmaking. This would be something that would be called more like mixed media. So um, I have some markers here, and these are water soluble, so you can add water to them. And I thought I would maybe enhance this a little bit with some of the color. So we know if we put yellow and red together, we're going to get orange. So we're going to have this kind of a sunset. I had applied the um, I had applied the uh, red before. I think we're going to have the boat more of a red, so I'm going to put more red on that. And the sail, of course, um, we're not going to put up because we have lines that would go through. But it gives you kind of an idea. Now we do have a slight um, sunset color behind the mast here. So I'm going to go ahead and carry that down here. Now we're going to be adding water to this because these are water soluble. And give you an idea of that. And you know maybe we can put the blue on. These are fun to do. Very simple to do. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Bring that out a little bit. There may be some clouds. I'm going rather abstract on this obviously. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to be adding water to this. Maybe a little bit of that yellow along that background would be kind of nice too. Have some yellow in there. Okay, now I have myself some water and a brush. This isn't really a watercolor brush. It's a, it's called a filbert because it's rounded. It happens to be one of my favorite brushes. We're going to add some water to this and see if we can save this as somewhat of a picture. And I'm brave because I'm doing this without doing it in advance. Let's just see what happens. See if we can get some of these colors to bleed and do a wash. I'm not real pleased with it, but it doesn't seem to be bleeding that much. But it does add another dimension to the picture. Okay, Let's see if that blue will. That wash is all right. Can you see the slight color that's coming out of that pigment? And many times um, markers will bleed or do a wash, as they say. So we got part printmaking on here, and we got part. Now I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to put the blue on there over some of the wet area. And now see this is starting to bleed a little bit up here. That's kind of neat. That might be nice for water to kind of bleed down. Let's put some of that on there. I'm going to see if that will bleed down a little bit more when I add some more water. Okay, that's bleeding good up there. This down here is starting to. Depends on if your markers say they're water soluble or not. Now these are highlighters and they're always brighter. I don't know if they would bleed. Let's see what this says here. If they're permanent. It'll say on the actual piece if they're permanent or not. Highlighter. I always check them on my hand. I did that to the orange before. Put a little, put the brush on it and see if it bleeds. Not as much. But you, you'd be surprised at what will 
move and what will not move. It's uh, always kind of interesting. Well, I think I'm going to leave it. I think I saved it somewhat. So we started with this design and we printed it and it was pretty dry and then I enhanced it and I like um, ripping these to make a deckled edge. You can make a deckled edge all the way around. Just simply fold your paper and uh, just fold a little, little bit on the sides. Now this side is uh, deckled edged and if we put that on a mat, if this were to be our mat board, you can kind of see that it's uh, semi-abstract. It looks very much like a woodcut in printmaking. Well I hope you uh, enjoyed my my piece and uh, from this to this and it's just another way of doing printmaking and mixed media. Hope you enjoyed it.